former chairman. Are you still the chairman? Still, still chairman. Still, just, at least for a day. Just yeah. for a day, Paul Oaten. Well, you've resigned, but you're going to resign after this um, is an extraordinary general meeting. That's right. General yeah. meeting this weekend. Um, I was reading sort of what you'd, you've, you've already put out a statement about um, about this, uh, why you're doing it. It seems from what I'm reading that you just found it quite gruelling. I mean, it's just an emotional toll being you <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> well, that's, that that's always say? been true. Is that fair to that's say? That's always been true. I think, you know, I was put in as a, an interim chairman uh, 18 months ago for a two-month period by Nigel Farage to see us through the first leadership election. That has turned into 18 months with uh, three leadership elections. I think with... 18 months of hell. Uh, it's been, it's had its challenges, Richard, there's no <laughs> doubt. But, uh, but at the same time, you know, the, the fundamental purpose of a chairman is to make sure that whatever the political drama may be going on around you, the mechanisms and the processes of a political party keep the, keep the machine moving mm. forward. Well, is it going to move any much further forward? I mean, just to paraphrase Clive Anderson's famous question to, uh, to Charles Kennedy when he, when he asked him, the Liberal Democrats, what's the point? Uh, UKIP, now, here we are in February 2018, really seriously being realistic. No, no PR. What's the point? So we can't talk about what the point of the Liberal Democrats is, because I'm happy to talk about that for 10 minutes. <laughs> Look, can, we, we've had, we've had, eight, we've had 18 point? months' worth of, of real challenges. You know, we've just, we've just had a segment before I came on talking about uh, house shortages. Before that, we were hearing how UKIP, uh, how Brexit is, isn't being delivered in a way that anybody would want it to be. You know, as somebody that campaigned and has campaigned for Brexit and for the referendum for five years, right in the so heart of down, UKIP... Though, what's the point? Brexit is being diluted before our very eyes, So Richard. you think UKIP it's is Brexit there to guard, all to, guard, but, to, to, all to, to guard the decision, to guard the decision of the nation? That's what it's there for. Initially, absolutely, mm. that's the purpose of UK. And, and, and to be fair, you know, we've heard, all oh, the job's done, Brexit's going to be delivered. No, it's not. The job's not done. Except... We're reliant upon a Conservative Party that, frankly, we don't have faith in. I think increasingly the British public well, don't have faith in. how do you hold them to account? You haven't got any power. Well... Ah, well, we didn't have any power when we brought about a referendum. Uh, it's our electoral threat, Richard, that brings about Except our influence in British politics. you're losing, was it, 1,000 members a month? Or this, you're losing well, well, members all the time. Which makes me think, you know, their views may not have changed radically from what yours are, but they have now thought, right, well, I've made my point. I've made what might have felt like a protest vote. In fact, it was much more powerful than a protest vote. And it's now time to go back to the original parties where we might have been... Is it not time for, for you as chairman, for UKIP, to take a deep breath and say, this is our legacy, we've achieved something which is truly remarkable in British political history? I mean, you will go down in the annals of history as a remarkable party, whether you like what you've achieved or not. You know, lots of people don't like the tenor of the argument that UKIP made. But isn't it time to take a deep breath and say, this is our legacy, let's manage the decline of this party? Shut well, up, stop. I, I, I don't, uh, don't be, uh, you know, don't be mistaken. Those conversations have taken place. Of course they have. But actually, about we... whether the decline of the party is something you should genuinely yeah. be managing well. Have we done our job? Is it time for us you're to not step managing off the field the, of play? The, I mean, ultimately, very ultimately, well. the thousands of people that are a member of UKIP, that are members of UKIP, are there because they want to see Britain become independent, and they're not prepared through party politics to jeopardise that. So I think it's perfectly reasonable, and of course, the conversations have taken place. Should we now move to one side? Do we trust other parties to take this forward for us? And to a certain extent, in the snap election last year, we started that. We said to the Conservative Party, OK, we won't stand against your Brexit candidates. We'll Correct. let you form this majority that you yep. can go and deliver Brexit on. True. And the Tories did what the Tories do best, which is they completely blew it. Is it so, true that um, whatever happens on Saturday, you can't afford to pay the next leader? Uh, well, we've never paid a leader. So, Explain. can't afford to pay the next leader, we've never paid one. But so. you're paid, aren't you, as a chairman? I'm paid as chairman, so the, the organisational structure, chairman, party agents, campaign that, directors, because they're membership paid. money is not coming in as thick and fast as it once was, so there's actually less money in the coffers of UK Well, now. actually, no, because the, the principal purpose of any political party is you have your membership subscriptions that pay for campaigns, and then you have large donors, if you like, that pay for staff. So people, the donors are moving such as away. The they're sitting right now and waiting to see what happens tomorrow, which Do is no great surprise. Do you think UKIP can um, survive another leadership battle? And if it did, who on earth would want it? Well, the poison chalice. The, the second question is a very good one, and we'll wait and find that out. But right now we have a leader. Henry Bolton may still be the leader tomorrow night. We don't know. What we've got is a mechanism through which the membership can have their say. We've got over 1,500 people now scheduled to come to Birmingham, so it's going to be a very interesting day. My last job as chairman will be to chair that meeting. So good luck. No, no doubt I'll come out bat and bruise, which, uh, yeah. which will be good. What are you going to do next? Uh, have a rest. <laughs> Find another job, though, because this is a paid job for you. This has been your career. It has, but at the same time, I'm sticking with UKIP because mm. this party has a purpose. There's a reason for it staying on the field. Okay. Well, All right. OK.